I made some Christmas stockings and I thought it was a good idea to show everyone how I did them. I wanted to use a couple of different fabrics with a good contrast so I went for quite Christmassy velvets as well as tartan for the inside lining. I bought four different fabrics for two stockings and some gold which I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that later. I started by sticking together 15 sheets of A4 paper just to make my template. I then folded those sheets in half and started to draw the side of my stocking making sure I was going right up to the edge. Cutting that out, if I just draw on one side then when you fold it out you've got the good size of your stocking. Obviously if you use less sheets of paper then you're going to make your stocking smaller, so do as you please. For my first stocking I was going for velvet red and tartan, so I got my first sheet of velvet fabric put my template over the top, lined it up perfectly and started to pin. Just make sure the fabric's even underneath with a good flat surface. Cut that around that template using fabric scissors. Then just remove the pins and you've got the outside fabric to your stocking. Now repeat the process with the inside lining. I wanted to use a tartan because the one thing to remember with this one is leave a bit of space at the top which I didn't actually leave in the template just so that you can fold it over probably a good kind of Ooh, I'd say about half a foot at the top of fabric. You see it's a bit longer. Line the two fabrics up, leaving that extra space at the top with the tartan underneath and pin them. Once folded over, I also ran some pins down the outside crease. The letters on the front were really time consuming, so start early. Here I'm just drawing my templates. I wanted an L and a J for both of mine. Use your extra fabric, so I'm using some gold. Pinning it and cutting it as I did with the original templates. I then wanted that bordered with some green velvet, which was the opposite colour to the stocking that I was making. Pin your two fabric letters together, make sure one's slightly bigger than the other, and start sewing. Here is the letter pinned and ready to be sewn onto the lining of the stocking. This needs to be done now, otherwise you're in real trouble once you sew the stocking up because it is impossible to get anything else stitched on. Now lying the stocking out flat facing upwards, I folded the extra lining over and created a hem and pinned. Now sew to secure that hem. and sew along across the top of your stocking where it meets the lining. The last thing to get the main body of your stocking now is just to fold over inside out and place some pins in. Now stitch. Make sure all those pins are removed, turn around the right way, and there you have your stocking. 
To make the hook I used my opposite fabric, so there's a green tartan and gold, I turned them inside out and pinned. I didn't really measure, I just knew I wanted a strip. I sewed down both sides of the fabric, making sure it was inside out. I then cut off the sides and the threads and turned it back round. As it was quite a small bit of fabric, it kind of rolled, so I just put another um, line of stitch down the centre. And there's your hook! Decide where and how you want the stocking to hang and stitch using some strong stitching. And that's complete. There's your red stocking. There is one step that I missed but you'll see that in a minute. Bells, just secure with a bit of thread. I just chose three and pick your position. Thanks for watching.